Hi guys, my name is Yuki. I'm an educator for World Japan. Today, I would like to show you how to do home haircut. I will make it quite simple, so it's easy to follow. Just using two products today. So first one, the clipper called V7000. Also, I'm gonna use this trimmer. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just gonna use this water spray to wet the hair. And I'm gonna section the hair separate the side and back and also top section. So how you take the section, you can touch the head. You can actually feel when the hair is start to curve. That's where I wanted to stop. Okay, so I'm gonna start from left hand side. So when you have a look at this attachment comb closely, in the middle, there's a number. So higher number you go, it actually gives you more length. When I start cutting, I don't want to go too short. So I'm gonna start with number four. So you can just click. The clipper has this lever, so when you open, it actually gives you the longer length. And then when you close, it's shorter. Okay, so I'm using this number four attachment and then open. As you use the clipper, can you see this movement? So I'm actually touching the scalp with the clipper. When I cut close to the section, I'm actually creating this arch movement. It's like a C, so we call it C-stroke movement. Make sure you use C-stroke movement so you're actually not going too short. Because sometimes if you follow the head too high and you end up going too short, but this case, we wanted to keep this length a little bit longer. So when I'm actually going close to the actual section, I'm doing this C-stroke motion. So remember to use your comb. Might go a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna close. This is really important for someone who's new because we don't wanna go too short. So it's better to start with longer lengths because we can always go shorter. Have a look at the head shape actually. Here it goes out and then goes in. In this case, I love to keep this area a little bit longer. I'm actually following the head shape up to here and then doing C stroke movement. You can hold your comb in left hand, your right hand for holding the um, gripper, and then just relax. You don't have to hold it too tight. Um, you need to be quite gentle when you're cutting. Please let the gripper to cut the hair. So I'm starting from the front, and then she goes down. You're gonna have the place actually, like hair grows different direction. Going like this, like this direction. And also this way as well. Okay, so I'm using this number three guard. I'm not actually going higher than this section, which is I've used number four before. I'm kind of leaving maybe an inch here using number three, which is shorter. Now I'm gonna open the lever. Now I'm using number two. So I'm gonna use the lever open. Can you see, I've done two and a half here, but still I can see a little bit of line here. What we can do is, actually we can slowly close this labor until it's the line disappear. Okay, 
Okay, so I'm gonna use number one guard now. I'd love to go a little bit shorter around the edges. So around the ears, it's a little bit tricky. So you can use this corner. So now, I'm gonna use this one and a half guard. The key point is, we don't have to go too high, okay? So we're just working on this area. So what we've done so far was using one and a half guard and then um, trying to eliminate the line. But even though we use exactly the same guard all over, and some parts we still can see the line, okay? But you don't have to worry. Now I'm gonna put the number one guard back again and blade open. And start from the front. If I still see the line, I'm going to slightly close the lever. And if you can, please try to use just a corner of the blade. Okay, so it actually gives you soft line. Okay, so this part, I can still see the line. So I've started from blade all the way open. Okay, then I'm using this side of the corner, on this side, and on the other side. So I can still see the line, so I'm gonna expose a little bit. So now I'm gonna use this um, trimmer. So this trimmer, it comes with um, all different types of blade. And it's really easy to detach. I'm using this T-blade. Good thing about this T-blade is, see because it's a bit narrow here, so it's perfect for around the ears, or sometimes you can clean up the ears. Just clean up the hair right? but it's better to not go too much. It's better to keep it quite natural. So I'm gonna use this number one. they like it really clean what we can do is um you can actually go a little bit in gives you really strong line but again it's personal taste so you know if you like it quite natural stick with your number one what we've done so far is i finished the side and back so you can see i'm gonna have to do a little bit for the top section inside so i'm gonna take this hair clips so Rebecca's hair is actually already short, so there's no overhang happening. But 
I'd like to show you how to cut the overhang. Today, I'm gonna use this clipper to cut the top section, okay? I'm gonna hold the clipper actually upside down, okay? I'm gonna hold the comb with two fingers. Comb the hair and then hold with your two fingers. And cut. Okay, so section I'm taking it's quite big. Just combing the hair and scooping and holding the hair with my finger. You can see the guy from the previous section. So I'm just taking the hair. Yeah. Okay, so now it's connected. I'm gonna work with the other side. Section could be maybe a couple inches, you know. And Combing the hair, hold it like this. Again, taking next section about maybe a couple inches. You create the guide length from the previous. So we're gonna comb to this point. Okay, perfect. And top section, I can hold the hand, taking the ends. Okay, so fringe, we want it to go a little bit shorter, but we don't want to go too blunt. Do but we can use this one and a half guard. the hair, hold the hair and then stop your finger where you want it to up to where you want it to finish and turn it on as we have guard on you still keep the length a little bit longer so it's um, a bit softer Okay, so now I finished the haircut. I'm gonna blow dry her hair. Or oh, you can use the product. In this case, um, I'm using matte paste. And when you use the product, you can use just a little bit and then use your hand. <laughs> Apply all over. So the top section we left it long and underneath we worked on number three attachment guide up to one and then I've used the trimmer or the hairline. And today I've used this V7000 and also this um, lithium ion stainless steel trimmer. for watching this is the end of the demonstration and hope you like the product thank you so much bye